I know it's a lousy thing, uh, but here's a team that got the finals, uh, went 62 wins last year, looks like going to win it tonight. Uh, so it's no shame in not getting into the lineup. How do you crack it? But uh, great guys. Uh, we call them the Black Aces, as you know, and uh, I've watched their three-on-three -three games and all the off days and love it. And let me introduce you to all of them. This is Jamie Pusher on my far left from the Lethbridge Hurricanes, born and raised, star of Lethbridge, and uh, he's been in the playoffs, of course, had some action. Here's a guy, he's one of the spoiled guys who went straight from junior to the NHL, Matthew Dandenault, and like Jamie, straight from uh, Sherbrooke to the Quebec Major Junior League. Kevin Hodson, I'm sure you know, was the most valuable player of the Sault Ste. Marie Memorial Cup in 1993, and a shutout in his first NHL game. We'll have a highlight of that. I says I get the Canadian guys on Don, but uh, they said, no way. Thomas is coming with us. Thomas Holstrom, who came to camp here and blew us all away and a uh, big part of the Red Wings organization. Tim Taylor, Stratford Culleton, and a great junior career in Hamilton and London, led the American Hockey League in scoring in 94-95, or 93-94. And also uh, Mike Knubel, who Mike Vernon says, when you get in there, don't pull it back, just shoot. And, uh, of course, you know the story of the University of Michigan star. And, uh, Tim, you're the vet here with a few hundred games in the NHL, so you'd be the guy to speak to, Al. Tight the team must have been and excited. Uh, what did you think of the opening period? Well, I think we struggled early on, especially our power play. Really didn't get a lot of shots, uh, quality shots, anyways. But uh, you know that goal at the end can really boost uh, everyone's confidence and kind of get everyone in a mode of playing the tight defensive game that we're used to playing. We just saw a goal you scored here from uh, Slava Kozlov. Uh, your first NHL game, you got a goal right. The funny thing about you guys is you all had big debuts. This isn't it. Of course, you're beating Felix. Most of these will be Hockey Night in Canada highlights of Toronto. But tell us about uh, your first game uh, against the Canadians, was it? Yeah, against Montreal. Uh, uh, I got the call at 9 o'clock in the morning, and unfortunately, uh, I was able to drive up to Montreal quick. But um, it was a big goal. Uh, it was 8 nothing at the time, and I made 8-1 <laughs> with three minutes left. So <laughs> I think I was probably the only one on our team that was pretty happy, and uh, it was a great moment for me and for my parents. And Mike uh, Kadubel, anything exciting happened in your first NHL game? Uh, yeah, it was the famous Colorado game there, and uh, the one that the fans uh, in Detroit especially I remember for a long time, and that was definitely a wild, wild one to come into. Do you think that uh, maybe was a turning point? Here's a look at Mike's goal. I was saying Mike Vernon gave him the advice. Uh, Matthew Dandeno, you think that was a real turning point for Detroit, that game March 26th? Well, I think so. It gave us uh, a whole bunch of confidence that we needed because uh, we still hadn't beat uh, Colorado this year. So it, it showed that we could play with them, skate with them, and uh, obviously, you know, uh, hit them in the corners real hard. Uh, you and uh, Jamie broke in together October the 8th, 95 at the Northlands Coliseum, and that's just up the road from Lethbridge, well, a little bit up the road. Uh, Jamie, you remember your first NHL game, and I'll ask you, Matthew, too, after that stands out. Yeah, I'll, I'll always uh, remember my first game. Uh, my, my folks were there, so it was really special. It was nice to play in Alberta, and uh, just to be on the ice, especially at the Northlands Coliseum, and, and finally to be out there uh, in the big league, it was a, a really a real good time. We were saying Larry Murphy's been great here again tonight. Uh, he's a right-hand shot. You got four of them on your defense, and that's the only reason apparently Aaron Ward's supposed to be comfortable on the other side. So they they gave you a chance to sit with us and watch, which is a real thrill. How about your first game that night, Nick? Well, I mean, it, it was really nerve-wracking for me because I was just coming up from the juniors, and uh, I was pretty much a wide-eyed rookie, like they said. And I was a uh, I was with Paul Coffey, and uh, you know, he just told me to relax. And it was kind of funny because uh, it was where he played uh, all those big years in Edmonton, but. Uh, you know, I only had the four or five shifts that night, but uh, I, sure, I sure was happy to be out there. And Kevin, uh, what can we say about your debut in the National Hockey League? Uh, we'll show a few glimpses of your uh, shutout performance. Uh, tell us what it was like when you broke in. I was a little bit nervous. Uh, you know, they told me at about two in the afternoon I was going to play this game, and I was kind of in awe at the first period, and then you know, as the game went on, I got a little bit more relaxed in there. 